In this video the cappuccino effect will be explained and Marine Control's pioneering measurement solution to check the quality of heavy fuel oil. Today ship owners are facing high operational costs, especially the fuel costs are the majority of overall cost approximate 60%. With the possibility that when you are bunkering you pay for air instead of fuel this could have huge financial impacts. The employee of the bunker vessel might want to earn some extra money by blowing some air into the heavy fuel oil before it's measured in the flow meter. The charter or ship owner is however not interested in paying for air instead of fuel. The charter or ship owner is currently not sure if the quantity he pays for is 100% heavy fuel oil. Blowing air into the heavy fuel oil can easily be noticed and detected when seeing the fuel. The difference between aerated and non-aerated fuel should be clear for the chief engineer at any time during the bunkering process, so he could prove, deceive and stop the bunkering process. When heavy fuel oil is aerated this is called the cappuccino effect, or the coca-cola effect. It's called the cappuccino effect because of the visual air bubbles on top of the fuel. The problem for the shorter is that he has to pay the fuel bill, but he is in most cases not present during the bunkering process to check the quality of the bunkered fuel. He is currently dependent on the information he receives from the bunker vessel and the chief engineer present on the vessel. Also, the flow meter technology today available does not prove whether during the bunkering process 100% heavy fuel oil or cappuccino oil is bunkered. So we, from ring controls, developed a fuel checker sufficient enough to prove and prevent the shorter or ship owner from swindle during the bunkering of heavy fuel oil and a system which can be very easily installed on deck of vessels. This system is the quickest way to prove when air is introduced into the heavy fuel oil. The fuel checker is able to record the quality of the fuel to check the fuel delivered by the bunker employee is not aerated. The record can be printed and sent together with the fuel bill to the shorter. Therefore, after the heavy fuel oil quality checker has been installed, the shorter or ship owner can always be completely sure he's paying for the fuel mentioned on the invoice, even if he's not present at the vessel. This is the developed system, the Marine Control's heavy fuel oil quality checker. The heavy fuel oil quality checker system operates in combination with a bunker flow meter, which is identical to the one used on many bunker ships. As seen on the design, there is a small pipe with a diameter of 20 mm installed leading to a system checking a sample taken from the fuel on the cappuccino effect. After opening valve B and A and closing valve D by pushing a button, the fuel is entering a small positive displacement flow meter with a pulse transmitter and has a capacity of roughly 10 to 1000 liters per hour. The pulses are connected to an indicator with a temperature compensation where volume is multiplied by the density of the fuel. The flow meter will be electrically connected to a remote batch counter which is preset on a quantity of 20 liters, being 70 to 80 percent of the volume of the tank. The indicator is however not counting in volume but mass due to the fact that the actual density is multiplied with the volume. The outlet pipe of the flow meter is attached to a waiting tank. When the 20 liters are reached valve A will automatically close. If the actual mass is different to the mass as it should be, the waiting tank can be opened for visual inspection. In this case, aerated heavy fuel oil will be seen and the evidence can be shown to the captain of the bunker vessel. To solve the next quality check, valve D should be opened, the gear wheel pump E should be started and valve C should be opened to flush the system. Thereafter, the next quality check can take place. These are some benefits of our developed system against systems proposing the Corollis type meter. The Corollis flow meter measurements are not directly a proof that the fuel is aerated and might develop a lot of argues between supplier and buyer of the fuel. Whereas the heavy fuel oil quality checker can prevent those argues that often lead to lawsuits. First, marine control system lets you instantly detect if the fuel is aerated. Most other control systems work with samples which are not always as representative and can show less cappuccino than there is actually in the fuel. Also samples can take time to get access to and some air is then already escaped from the fuel. The higher the temperature of the heavy fuel oil the faster the air escapes. Secondly, marine control system is easy to install and because of its accessibility and its simplicity easy to maintain and operate. 
Thirdly, Marine Control System provides direct access for visual inspection of the oil. By making photographs, direct proof of aerated heavy fuel oil is available and disputes can be quickly settled in ship owner's favor. This is a distinct advantage over competing solutions that rarely rely on measurements, which are often disputable. Lastly, the heavy fuel oil quality checker is based on proven and widely deployed Marine Controls BV technology, ensuring reliability under even the most demanding conditions. The biggest advantage of the heavy fuel oil quality checker is that you can quickly discover when you are being deceived and you can take action during the bunkering process. If the ship owner doesn't know whether the fuel is aerated or not, it could have huge financial impacts when he's being deceived. If for example the batch size is factory set at 20 liters, this number should be multiplied by the density of heavy fuel oil. At 50 degrees Celsius the density is most probably 0.98 kilograms per liter, resulting in a weight of 20 times 0.98 equals 19.6 kilograms. If the weighting indicator is not indicating 19.6 kilograms, but let's say 80.6 kilograms, it means that roughly 5% air has been mixed into the heavy fuel oil. On a bunkered volume of 3000 cubic meters, or roughly 3000 ton heavy fuel oil, because one ton is almost one cubic meter, because of the density that's almost one. This will result in an economic loss for the ship owner of 150 times 600 equals $9,000. With 150 being 5% of 3,000 ton and 600 the price of heavy fuel oil. A link to a picture showing a clear difference between aerated and non-aerated heavy fuel oil will be found in the description. If interested in our heavy fuel oil quality checker, you can also find a link to our website in the description. These are our contact details. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please like the video.